Hello everyone, my name is Wald Richards from the Game Train, and today they're playing <laughs> a game that was dead up until today. Gordy and the Math Invaders. It's an entertainment game made by Compedia, and uh, well, it's like a few other games that you've seen so far on this channel. Hard to get hard to find any info about. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find any info on the company or the or the game because all info seems to be gone. Who knows what the hell happened to it? One thing is certain, if you do look up Compedia today, you'll find that they're still doing educational stuff, but it's probably not the same company, just the same name. So we're not gonna bother talking about them too much, because honestly there's not a lot of information to go with for the old Compedia. All that I do know is that I have in possession three of their games, this, the sequel to this, and one called In Search of the Lost Words, and we'll have a look at all three of them eventually. We'll, st we'll start with this, of course, because this is the better one of them. And also I have to thank this guy over here for providing the download links for these two very elusive educational games because they're literally impossible to find. This is pretty much the only download link that exists. But you don't have to worry about that because I'll provide you with the download links in each and every single episode. With that said, we should probably get straight to the action because the screen behind the logo is glitching the fuck out. It's going way too fast. Can't even tell what's going on most of the time. Alright! Yes, I did it! Cool! I'm the greatest! Hey! What's going on? What's happening to my computer? He looks fucking weird. Viruses are invading the computer! All the games are in danger! This is an emergency call for help! Wait! Hold on a minute! Who are you? What are you doing in here? This is the antivirus police! Well, then why don't you fight the invading viruses? Those new viruses are bad! They can get in and destroy any computer system! I can't handle them! But how can I help you? Get in! We don't have much time! Enter the computer? Now? Can't do it, I got math homework to do. But, I know just the right guy for you. A member of a special task force. You are the Alpha Commando, the best. Step inside the computer and get those bad viruses. I'll stick around in case you have a math problem. I'll be with you all the way. Hey, and if at any time you're in a tight spot, just click on this ball. Good luck, Commando Alpha. Click on one of the options. Alright, well that was the intro. It's... It's alright. <laughs> I guess. However, you can notice that there are some certain things on the intro that... Uh, you wouldn't notice right away. I already pointed them out. With helpful little arrows. And other shit on the screen, which you have seen already. But yeah. Basically, that's the plot. The green blob of whatever it's supposed to be, called Gordy, has a bit of a problem with his computer. It's full of viruses. Probably visit Cornhub too many times for that hot steamy corn action. Uh, but, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Since you are Commando Alpha and you're going to help him out to save the video games. So that's exactly what they're gonna do. Now when you first start you have this menu, I suppose if you can call it like that. And you can choose either to start a new game, fuck off, choose one of the mini games, because this is all about the mini games. 
load a game if he saved it at some point in time and learn some math because this game is all about that it is an educational game after all and it's all about learning math yay <laughs> well my math skills aren't that bad we'll be able to get through this no problem it's just that I'm a little slow when it comes to calculating with my head so that's a bit of an issue but it shouldn't be a problem this is after all 50% game and 50% education from what I remember so we'll see how it works if you really need to check up on what is what, or if you're not an English speaking person so you want some examples of what the hell you're going to encounter in the game, try learning first. It'll have some topics to look over for basic math. This is all about the basic math, so nothing to worry about. The sequel will go into a bit more advanced shit, but it's still mostly in the realms of basics. So let's get started then. Hit new game. Choose the level of difficulty. And then choose your difficulty. Number one is easy, number two is medium, and number three is hard. Since I'm hardcore, I'll take three. We need to stop the viruses from entering the computer. Change the traps around so that the group of viruses matches the number next to it. Here comes a group of three viruses. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I skipped the demo because you really don't need to know that. The idea behind this minigame is that you have a bunch of traps which you need to use to mix and match, to get these fuckers blown up and I'm already fucking it up. Are you surprised? No, probably not. Here we go. The idea behind this minigame is to help you be able to tell just how many objects are in a group by a glance. You can see that objects are actually color coded to make it easier for you to calculate the amounts. I have to keep switching out... No, get out of the face. <laughs> Stupid cop. You have to keep switching out the, ob the traps uh, to match the viruses so that you get zapped properly. First it goes by the numbers, then it goes by the colors. Don't be surprised if it gets a little bit tough and you miss out on a few viruses. Because, well, it happens. But another thing to keep in mind is that the game is pretty lenient in this case. If you miss out on one or two, or even three viruses I believe, no worries. You have a, you have a four tries before the game is restarted. So that means you can only fuck up four times before it gets serious. Is this a seven? No, that was probably an eight. Walder, you should just count. You should just do what the fucking game is telling you to do. What are we doing? <laughs> oh no, one of them got past us. Attention! One group of viruses has invaded the computer. This is what happens when you let some of them pass. Nothing serious, you just get warned that some of them got through. So try not to fuck it up again. It's not a very hard mini game, but when you do it on hard mode, you can definitely see that it's more of a thing of keeping up rather than counting the objects. And in my case, I just prefer to just wing it. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to destroy them right away because you can see that they have a lot of traps to make use of for this very purpose so take it slow be methodical but don't fuck around for too long you're supposed to destroy the viruses after all four fuck ups and you're out Uh, 
I don't remember how many stages we uh, we have to go through on hard mode, but I do believe there's plenty of them. I also noticed that another difference here is that in hard mode, viruses are actually faster than in uh, easy and normal modes. Do I even have it too? Yeah, I do. Son of a bitch! That guy with the two just fucked off. He trick would me. Red alert! Two groups of viruses have managed to get into the system. One more group of viruses and we'll have to start all over again. Okay, my mistake. It's not four fuck-ups, it's three. Still, pretty lenient if you ask me. Oh, that didn't count. But that's most likely a 13. No, it's not. It's a 12, maybe? Yes, it is. Well done, Commando Alpha. You did it. That was Finally, it. Finally, we can relax a little. Hush! Hello, who are you? You're asking who I am? <laughs> you useless antivirus task force, you! This is Piter, king of the viruses! <laughs> if you think you've succeeded in taking us out, you're making a big mistake! At this very moment, my virus forces are attacking the sound card. Oh. And we'll get to you too. <laughs> Let's call up the sound card and see how he's doing. Hello? Do you hear me over there? It looks like the sound card is in a bit of trouble. You need to rush to the disc doctor and get an antivirus medication. You must get there as soon as possible. What happened to your eyes, man? Suddenly you look like you haven't had some sleep in a long time. I guess this is what it feels like to be a vast. <laughs> to clear the roadblock, we need to figure out the answer to the exercise on each side, and then click on the correct sign. If you don't know these signs, you're welcome to click on my icon and choose a lesson. But that won't be necessary, because this is pretty clear. We have to figure out if uh, if either side is greater or lesser than the other, or if it's equal. It's pretty obvious here that the left sign is greater than the right side. Good job, Alpha Commando! Wow. <laughs> You're something else. Keep this up and you'll go far. And every time you get this right, you get these fairly patronizing uh, pep talks given to you. Like, oh, you're the best, you're the greatest. Just shut up, I know. This isn't particularly difficult, you know. Good job, Alpha Commando! One thing to keep in mind, however, is that you can change the speeds with the uh, arrows down below and if you just happen to have a game speed set to the max well you're gonna have a bit of a hard time resetting it to something more reasonable here's something else keep this up and you'll go far because it does go fast when it says it goes fast well doesn't this look you are the best not equal <laughs> it's the same fucking thing I knew I could count on you. Nice try, bitch. See, going to school was good for a change. I think. <laughs> Here's something else. Keep this up and you'll go far. Oh, yes. We'll go very far indeed. Oh, I wonder what the answer to this could be. Here's something else. Keep this up and you'll go far. Like I said, this is very basic stuff. You don't have to worry about fucking this up if you're already at around the age of 20. I knew I could count on you. However, it's perfect for little kids who want to have some supplementary stuff to help learn math while not being bored out of their goddamn minds. I don't know.
Seems kind of good to me. I knew I could count on you. The backgrounds look fucking weird, though. I gotta say, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> it is a pleasure to work with you. Well, obviously, one plus six is greater than seventeen plus one. What do you think, doofus? You're something else. <laughs> Keep this up, and you'll go far. There's a few gates that you have to get get passed through. It can take a bit of time to get through because there's a fair amount of them, but it's pretty simple. It is a pleasure to work with you. You are the best. You are the best. Oh yeah. Of course I'm the best. You're something else. <laughs> Keep this up and you'll go far. That's what everyone says, especially in condescending tones to make me feel bad about myself. Apparently that doesn't work. Whoops. You're great. Oh. I am great. You are the best. No, that that's not true. I am not great. What is great is Frosties from Kellogg's. They're great. You're something else. Keep this up and you'll go far. I hope you haven't arrived too late. I'm so tired I can hardly move. The viruses are attacking, and I just can't make the antivirus medication fast enough. This minigame is fucking great. We don't need to see the demo because it's pretty obvious what you need to do. Well, thanks to me. You need to take the drops, and then you need to combine them to make numbers. The idea here is that you're making so-called medication to use for your next minigame. And the idea is very simple, you're just combining the stuff to make canisters which you will have to make use of in the next minigame, like I said a second time for some reason. <laughs> Nothing too special, although you have limited space and you must make sure you do not overfill the vials, cause then you are forced to restart. And you don't wanna restart, cause that sucks. You can use your arrow keys for this, which, which makes it considerably easier. Also, just ignore the the zeros and go with other numbers. Will make your life a bit easier. There are some special drops as well, like the rainbow drop. It allows you to just combine any element, like any color, and get the results. Which is good. We're nearly done, actually. Then there's the splash drop, which just destroys everything in the vial. Useful if you want to just get rid of the junk. Oops. <laughs> that probably was not a good idea. It's a very useful clutch item. A crutch item, I should say, not clutch. <laughs> Oops. That didn't help. That really didn't help. In fact, you could say it kind of fucked shit up. Man, this is going faster than I remember it. Fuck! Oh no you don't- Oops. Son of a bitch. The test tube is too full. No shit it's too full. Maybe you shouldn't throw them so fucking fast. But you get the idea. This is a pretty cool minigame I gotta say. It just likes to speed up a lot on hard mode. You can get some pretty good practice if you play it uh, from the menu, from the games menu. Why did I drop that 40 on the 20? What the shit? <laughs> that was stupid. It's actually much easier to play this with, a, with the arrow keys. As you can see, for yourself, much easier to control. So I definitely recommend doing it that way. You can play with a mouse if you feel like it. Oh, that, that, was, that was a pretty bad thing to do. But uh, why would you? 
it's, it's like you're some sort of a massive casual or something. Oh, that didn't help either. Whatever. You can combine the drops in uh, other shapes. I believe you can combine them in diagonals and horizontals. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be vertical. Also, if you hold down the button, you'll speed up. Yeah, get this shit out of here so that it doesn't explode. Okay, so the, the diagonals do not work. <laughs> well, that was a good attempt. I think. Do you think I'll explode again? I think the consensus says yes. <laughs> Man, I have way too much shit in here. Oops. Whoops. The test tube is too full. Yes, no shit. This is much harder on the uh, hard mode than I remember it to be actually. But this is mostly because shit drops down very fucking fast. Man, I fucked up that combo. <laughs> it really drops fast, but we are hard mode. We will succeed. Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> Why am I the shit at dropping things that are supposed to go one way and not the other? The world may never know. Yeah, look at that. You can combine them horizontally as well, but not vertical. Uh, I mean, not ho diagonal. Yeah, I nearly said horizontal for some fucking reason. Tongue twisters? Not even once. That's a 70. Oh, that was a fucking 70. Oops. <laughs> this fucking music though. What the hell? What the what they be thinking that they made this fucking track? It's fucking banging. You think it's not banging? How about we talk about this uh, in the backyard? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Oh no you don't. Get that shit out of here. Fuck! Now it's dropping. Like it's hot. Dropping like it's hot, for real. What the shit, man? Slow down. Oh, oh, they're finished. Okay. Commando Alpha, you're great. It's thanks to you that we have what we need to fight the virus battle. Let's go and save the sound card.